Hi, I'm Avery Miller, and today I'm going to be reviewing George Orwell's um, Animal Farm. So, it depends on actually where you uh, get this book, but mine said Animal Farm, a fairy story, and it kind of has an explanation on why it does that in the beginning. Um, some places wanted it to be known as a fairy tale, others didn't, probably due to how it's calling out the Russians and about having a dictatorship but um yeah so it starts out and i was like okay it was a lot i've never heard anything about this except good things um but i didn't know what it was about at all which is funny just because i mean once i started reading it i was like oh my god um just because of how many parallels it has to our real life <laughs> Maybe besides the communism part, but I don't know. It seems a little bit too real right now, reading about a dictator. Um, but besides that, uh, <laughs> um, I thought in the beginning, I was like, I was like, oh, dude, this is so cool. Like animals, like are like, I mean, they're thinking like humans. They have their own thoughts, and I mean, I was thinking about the modern way you can read it like you could be like oh like at first I was like I was like oh cool like animals are in charge they're like this could be a play on why you shouldn't why you should be vegetarian or something <laughs> I mean that's dumb for me to think but I mean I I'm just programmed right now to be thinking of all the modern problems um but then I mean quick quickly you realize what's going on like how oh, the pigs are the most, are the smartest, so therefore they get the best of everything. And it goes and goes and goes, and then this, they make their ten com or seven commandments, and they keep changing them and changing them based on what the pigs want to do. And it, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, it's very relevant. Uh, they just keep changing everything that they've said in the past, and they keep... It's just, it's, it's crazy, and then it just, like, builds and builds and builds, and it's such a quick read, like, I read it in a day, it's, I think it's only, like, 120-something pages, it's easy to read in one day, um, but it was so compelling, like, and the whole time you want to turn away just because, like, you're like, come on, guys, like, you're smarter than this, but they're not, I mean, the younger, the old, the other animals, they're just, like, I mean, they want to keep living the life that they thought they deserved and they couldn't even remember before the dictatorship was. And it kind of like, I like in the end, I mean, I'm sure that you've read this, but spoiler alert, um, in the end, when the pigs stand up and you're like, whoa, oh, the one, the one big rule was two feet bad, four feet good. Four feet good or two feet bad like it would they would, the sheep were constantly saying that and they wouldn't they would drown out everyone else's like talking and stuff so like you couldn't even argue with them if someone did disagree with what they were saying and it's just it, oh my god it, one that got tiring i mean it's a, a short book but it's like repetitive in the sense where you're like you just want to jump in there and like help them and just tell them what like but i mean i'm sure that that was how people viewed that at the time like uh it's just it's a crazy crazy detailed book and for i can't even believe that it's that old i think it was um when was it made well anyways i can't get the information right now but it i mean it's definitely old it's george orwell so and he wrote 1984 which is also great but this book blew me away and i mean even to the last line where they couldn't, they were like looking back and forth between the pigs and the humans and they couldn't see the difference. And it's just like, okay, they, uh, I mean, just calling, calling them pigs is so degrading. And I love that George Orwell really like, he went for it. He did not pull any punches and he just didn't care. I think that that's like, the boldness we need today. I think we need another animal farm today. <laughs> but that's just my two cents. Um, yep. That's it.